Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Vashan Brown. The Jamaican dollar has hit a new record low compared to the U.S. currency. It's costing an average $156.28 for one U.S. dollar. Now, the previous record was $156.14 set at the end of trading on July 27 this year. Meanwhile, it's costing an average $125.77 for the Canadian dollar. $210.34 is the going rate for the pound and $184.34 for the euro. A response this evening from Scotiabank Jamaica in light of the news that it will close another branch and change the operation of three others to digital, affecting more than 50 staff members. Now, Javon Keyes spoke with the president and the CEO of Scotia Group Jamaica, Audrey Togwell Henry, on the issue. This is not a cost-cutting exercise. A declaration by head of Scotiabank Jamaica, Audrey Togwell Henry. Over the next few months, the bank will be closing its Crossroads branch and converting Linstead, Montego Bay and Hagley Park Road to digital. Mrs. Togwell Henry says the shift is reflective of customer trends. What we're seeing is that of the total transactions done by our retail customers, about 4% of those transactions actually happen in our banking halls with our customer service officers. So that shift has taken place. A decline from the 21% of transactions taking place in branch in 2017. The dubbed realignment exercise by the bank will affect 68 employees. Mrs. Stugwell Henry shared what will happen to operations in Crossroads. The, the customers will be moved to our new Kingston branch and the physical location will be closed. Now we are required by law to have an approval from the central bank for that specific activity and we will be we have applied to the central bank for that approval and once that approval comes through we will do that branch consolidation the process and the other branch conversions are to take place before october 2022 meetings with unions and consultations will continue as the exercise progresses she says alternatives to layoff such as role redeployment and early retirement packages are on the table. The bank closed two branches earlier this year and converted six to digital. The context of this change has, however, raised eyebrows. But is there any consideration for sale of retail operations in Jamaica at any point in the foreseeable future? I mean, Scotia has done so in the Eastern Caribbean. Are there any plans to do so in the Jamaican market? So, Javon, I can say that there are no immediate plans for a sale in Jamaica. We have invested in Jamaica over the last uh, few years. We have fully renovated. I am speaking to you from our renovated head office, which is, is state-of-the-art renovation. So we have invested in physical infrastructure. We have invested in digital infrastructure, and we have other plans for further investment. So obviously I don't have a crystal ball, but being part of a global bank, changes will always happen. But I have no information today to suggest that there is any plan for the sale of the operations in Jamaica. For the Business Day, I'm Javon Keyes. Thank you, Javon. Now, the main market index lost 1,471 points today, while the junior market index dipped by 18 points. Among today's winners were Mayberry Investments, Kaylee Group, Epley Caribbean Property Fund, Carreras, and First Rock Capital Holdings US dollar shares. While on the losing side were ISP Finance Services, JMMB Group 7.25% shares, TTEC, SSL Venture Capital Jamaica, and a CAC 2009.5% shares. And that's the business day. I'm Vashan Brown. Have a good evening.